Oh, all right. Let's go down the list this time. Down. Did they change the order of the list? No, it was like that. I just chose Yuri, and then it went Sayori, and that's with Monica. Okay. You want to? Want to go to Yuri first, or you want to go to Sayori first? Oh, does that matter? Uh, I think it does. Do you know how dating games work, Skylar? No. You see, there's a little graph with pluses and minuses. When you go to a girl first, you get a plus. Yeah, and but one like, who doesn't like that girl gets a minus. I want to know what's, what's up with Sayori. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just saying that who you go to first is going to get the most positive net gain of affection. We already know Natsuki's going to like this poem a lot. Yeah, but do we really care? No. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know. I want to know what Sayori is. Sure, why not? Sayori. I'll just go down the list, see what happens. Guts! Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. I only put, like, socks in there or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Uh, well, accidentally two people, but... Probably Yuri. Uh... I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Get <laughs> Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. It's, but it's okay. Making new friends just like I was hoping. It makes me really happy. You're happy too, right? You're happy, right? In this club? Well, yeah, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, John Boy. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You'll play with everyone else now. But your poem. You insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a, bit, a little bit early today. Uh, Siri? Well, Monica, I wasn't feeling well, okay? See you tomorrow! Before I can say anything else, Siri cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Uh... Oh, um... What? He's gone. No longer in the classroom. Uh... <laughs> well, down the list! <laughs> um... Well, oh no, I have no choice but to walk home with someone else today. Oh no... <laughs> This one's... it's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. Not as good as yesterday's anyway. I, I mean, I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean... Someone like the most for you. Right? That's fine. I mean, I'm mostly just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Is that more of a compliment? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh. No. G gross. It's not like I care. It's that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? I think well, that's Monica. <laughs> and what if you end up just scaring me away? That's... <laughs> uh, it's not like you would actually do that. I thought you liked vampires. Yeah, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Yeah! Oof. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Ugh, I got stabbed. Uh, Nessie's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. Two more punches to the chest. <laughs> I was joking. Ugh. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. A wink. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, how the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well... Maybe it was funny to her. <laughs> Maybe she likes physical violence. I guess that's kind of the point. I really just washed my mouth around Natsuki. Jesus. Anyway, Natsuki holds out her poem to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach. <laughs> uh. 
Oh. Oh. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder, wonder over the years. But today, I have a special place. A beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach to your daydream about <laughs> each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in the sunbeams and hold my hand. Watch your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that watches your words away. I'll be the beach you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach makes your heart leap. In a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your beach, your own escape. You'll learn to love yourself again. So here's the thing. It's, it's gonna be harder. <laughs> yeah, but it also seems like she's really trying to change the writing style to what I'm doing. Like, you know, I'm, there's like more stuff to it. I'm like, hey, look at these other people that aren't Natsuki. And she's like, wait, but no, I can do that too. This is actually like trying to do more normal poetry thing now. Hmm. Her? It's still pretty like simplistic and yeah. like boring. It's just harder to understand what you're talking. <laughs> like meaning. Ugh. My thoughts. I still full trouble. Trouble and fears of dimension. This is for us. So, you know, it's easier to pay attention to what it's saying when you're not trying to do an annoying voice. When you're not trying to say, I'll be the beach. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the beach. Uh. I don't know. It seems kind of like escapism to me. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Your own escape. Wow. Wow. You learn to love yourself again. Well, okay then. Good enough. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write about, like, something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write about anything negative oh, about no. the beach. Beach has that sand beach. stuff. <laughs> and sand is coarse here. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? Uh... Okay. I guess ignore. All right. Yeah. Back to it. Hopefully the game doesn't destroy itself. Yeah. Let's let's hope for the best. Ah, uh, you can really see her doing that too, making us write about simple topic and then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I, I just did anyway. I mean. I guess it might end up being kind of metaphorical too. There's nothing wrong with that once in a while. At the very least. It was good practice. Actually, you were right about it then. <laughs> what? She was getting all metaphorical like Yuri stuff. And yeah. She was like, well, I, I just wanted to do it once. <laughs> Alright, well, time for Yuri. Let's go. Yuri time. Dots. Shrognor. Your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Neat! I really feel the emotions. <laughs> I'm a little envious, even. Uh... I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Oh, Yuri... So... Amazing. <laughs> That's the wrong way to put it, Yuri. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. Aww. You're really the example I was chasing after. Thanks, get a, friend. Get a room, you two. Friend? Friend. <laughs> uh, is that so? 
Jerry gently smiles to herself. It's feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame, really. You should be ashamed. <laughs> like your drug addiction. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Gary smiles. Sadly. Oh, music is change. Dognor, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. It's a great time to <laughs> find a quiet spot and do some reading. <laughs> In fact, I always have some books with me. They're my only you friends. Say I really enjoy reading. Mm hmm Well, that's one way to put it anyway. Yeah. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. Yeah. People you want to fall in love with. Huh. Or people you just was, know would make a really good friend. Was Monica <laughs> right? Does she have a fictional boyfriend? Probably. Cheerful people always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. Doesn't she like really tragic books? Yeah. There's horror. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends. Friends. Every day. <laughs> you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Who would? Wait, what? And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. Acting? <laughs> <laughs> People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Trognor. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. Feelings. All I could do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what was missing all this time. I really haven't done anything. No. <laughs> I said, no. Yeah, you no, have. you haven't. <laughs> That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. Oh. That's really important to me. Oh, okay. Friend. Yeah. I know I'm a difficult person, Trogno. Uh, I speak too slowly. Not as slow as Monica. <laughs> <laughs> I second guess myself all the time. Yeah, she does. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. That's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. Good answer. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them! <laughs> I mean, I joined this club hoping to get cupcake uh, friends. Yeah. And tea. And I would say I've had at least one success. Monica. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Uh, um... Put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Gary puts her head in her hands, crying. <laughs> but this time she's smiling as the tears stroll down her face. You want to show me your poem? Yeah. Friend. I do. Let me get it for you. Uh... Ooh, Ghost Under the Light Part 2. Oh yeah. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows, closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering out against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is a rhythm with a pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before, giving up on understanding 
Laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Aww. What's your take there? He likes you, and she still has no self-confidence. <laughs> yep. You're pretty much, that's all that can be drawn from it. Probably. Yeah, yeah, that's about all I get from it. Wanna walk home with me? <laughs> yeah, wanna walk home with me? So we already, we already left, so we're free. Oh god. Can I see the poem? Sorry to hand it back to you. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. You can keep it. Shots. You dislike it. Well, dislike's a strong... <laughs> uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite your poems usually being cryptic, wasn't hard <laughs> to figure out what this one was about. Thanks, Cam. Yeah. Also, this is clearly isn't the poem that Suki said she wrote about. What did she say? Okay. Meaning I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. Oh, she she showed everyone else a different poem, and she showed you this one. There you go. I, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. <laughs> That's fine. I understand this one. Dots. Extreme dots. <laughs> yeah, just embarrassed dots. Uh, Yuri is having dots an even harder time speaking than, <laughs> than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Oh, tr Trogmar, come on. <laughs> Trogmar, what are you doing? Come on. You idiot. Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. Uh. So, thank you. Friend. <laughs> Thank you. Good friend. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. Once again, try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hand and pushes him back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can... Um... Poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Is that what you're trying to say? Yuri nods. <laughs> I'd love to. Ooh. Love Ooh. is a word used. Oh. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always. You always make me feel nice. Like Amber. I know I'm not good with people, but. You're not. I hope that. I can return the favor sometimes. Oh, you make me tea, so that's good. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Gary finally turns back toward me. You do pretty okay. <laughs> You're pretty okay. <laughs> Solid okay. I, I guess we should move on before Monica says something and wow. destroys this relationship. <laughs> you know, Trognor is... His relationship status is looking good because he's found a group of people that are somehow more sh socially awkward than himself. <laughs> I guess you're but pretty okay. I'm sure we can talk again later if you want to walk home. Yeah? I'm sure we will. That no. Yuri, Yuri timidly smiles at me. I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. So I can throw it in the garbage. Monica saw all of Who this. Who should I talk to next? Always the last one. Just Monica left. Hi, Trognor. Hey! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Nope. Well, being at this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... You said you wanted to, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to give it wait, some more thought. Wait, 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 wait. He was, like, hard, like, proponent for this. Yeah. <laughs> now he's just like, eh, I'm kind of backing out. Okay, no pressure. All the pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. <laughs> Underlying text, it better be good. <laughs> no pressure. It would also make me happy to see. So it better be uh, good. Uh, 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 oh. oh. <sighs> We're gonna ignore this one again. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't know what is happening. So 
so I, I, I maybe we should like I, save it and like confirm the file. I did the Google thing. It turns out this happens when you're using an older save on the newest version of the game. Okay. So this is legitimately the game just being like, hey, what do I do? <laughs> It's just like, uh, we had something here, but we don't, so... Whatever. Alright. I like it, Trognor. That was probably I was supposed to hand her the thing, and then she said... Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Uh... It's like you wrote for Natsuki this time. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh jeez. No, no, it's nice to see you getting in touch with your feminine side. <laughs> it makes me think of Natsuki. No. She writes about vampires like you. And she's a good writer, too. So take this as a compliment. All right. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Heck yeah, I have. Have you read really? like, actually? Yeah, Shel Silverstein, lots of poems. They're pretty, yeah, I read them a lot when I was a kid. Totally. have before, I just don't remember. Any yeah, they're pretty, pretty interesting with some interesting drawings in there that sometimes make me feel weird. Yeah, mostly they're pretty cool. That's usually what poems go for. But uh, yeah. Uh, maybe a long time ago, but I mean, actually, a long time ago, yeah. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. Yeah, that's pretty true. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. Yeah. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids. And to interrupt right there, uh, he's the one that did where the sidewalk ends yep, and a light in the attic and stuff like that. I think I have both of those. Books. Ooh. I'm certain almost everyone has at least read once from like their school library. So. Yeah. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Suki is kind of like that. Simple. <laughs> sort of, but sure. yes. Sure. <laughs> Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Did you just cut uh, to a poem? Yeah, it's hers. Mm -hmm. The lady who knows everything. Everything. Yuri. Uh, yeah. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning. All purpose. And all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost oh, adrift. There's a lot the more. sky. Victim of the currents mm. of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky twilight. until one day the wind ceases to blow i fall and i fall and i fall and fall even more gentle as a feather 
a dry quill expressionless but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger the hand of a beautiful lady i look into it yeah, i look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze the lady who knows everything knows what i am thinking for I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. Watch TV. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Hmm. I guess poems are hard. They're long. They're not to always, read. except for the save me, load me. Yeah, well. So, do you think she ever feels like a feather floating on the wind? Uh, paper thin. <laughs> uh, so what? Keep a lady that finds meaning and says there is no meaning? Well, it finds answers to say that the answer is that there's no meaning to the answers. Cool. I totally understand what you mean there. I don't know, I, I think a couple of things of it. Like, that last part is basically, like, where I kind of think of, like, the whole thing as, like, a writing metaphor. Like, um, if, like, if you go back up, it's just, like, I have, like, this idea, and, like, I'm searching for, like, this perfect, like, thing that I'm trying to write, and then it, like, it ceases to blow, and then it's just, like, a dry quill, like, nothing's happening. Like, writer's block, almost. Yeah. And then you're just, like, there's this idea that I'm just trying to go for, and then it's just, like, there's not, there's no, like, perfect thing, like right like your legend does not exist but just do your thing but I don't know don't try and scribe uh, something just, just oh, well. straight just what you're thinking for or just write just straight up get it down on the paper well rather than it seems kind of like for... dismissive and hopeless with the last thing it said yeah it blows me away I'm like well okay but then it says I find my own gust of wind Picking up a gust of wind. I'm picking up a gust of wind. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just like, I pick up a gust of wind, it's just like, I just go with like the first thing that, like you think Comes of. Comes along, yeah. And just continue with that or something, I don't know. You know. It could mean a bunch of things. Ugh. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Like the no meaning you just talked about? Not to get too philosophical or anything. But it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. Never really put much thought into it. <laughs> In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Neat. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? Uh, well, I mean, I guess, you know, there's one way. thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> I'm like, like Jesus, this is like a sad town. Sad town. Uh, 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 <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Meta. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she did say humans. <laughs> Got him. Meaning she could be a robot. <laughs> I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. Wait. It was a joke. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> she very much, she knows. Yeah. Fourth wall destroyed by Monica once again. Tutorial box. Yeah, another Destroying time, fourth, yeah. Fourth walls. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Trognor's never shy. <laughs> it can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you've put so much into. Like socks, massacre, aura. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Except if you're Natsuki. Oh yeah. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. Alright, so like, it's pretty bad, but you could be better. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's better than just being like, get wrecked, kid. <laughs> Suck. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Tutorial bot out. Yep. Thanks for listening. What is this, a radio show now? <laughs> <laughs>